Welcome back. So now we are going to talk about an interesting topic called SEO techniques. Like I told you, Google has 200 different factors that it considers in order to rank a website on Google search engine. But obviously, when I said organic, it also meant natural. Google is going to rank your website, and in order to rank a website, experts say it can take anywhere between four to eight months. And of course, it also depends on the competition for a specific keyword or the search query. Now, not everybody has the patience of really waiting for four to eight months for their business to show up on Google to drive traffic to their website, to convert the traffic and make money. So there are a few very greedy people who actually look at shortcuts. They look for loopholes within the Google's algorithm. They're going to look at shortcuts to rank on Google quickly, but it can be very short-lived. Why? Because Google is, is filled with PhDs and engineers who are some of the world's most smartest people. Very soon, sooner than later, they are definitely going to catch these loopholes and the websites could be penalized. So the techniques that people use are of three types. Number one, Google has its guidelines. If you go to Google, search for something like Google Webmaster Guidelines, it's going to list you all the guidelines that Google considers in order to rank your website, in order to make your website accessible when Google crawls and indexes. If you follow those guidelines, it's good for you. Your website is going to rank, and it's going to be long term, which is great. Like I told you, however, it's going to take some time. You need to have the patience. The people who follow the Google's webmaster guidelines, they are called white hat practitioners. That's called white hat SEO, if you followed the Google's guidelines. It's as simple as that. Go to Google, type webmaster guidelines. You're going to get that right there, the first result. Read that, follow that, and you're going to be fine. On the other hand, there are people, like I said, who are a little impatient who look at the loopholes, instead of holding the spirit of doing a good search engine optimization, they look for loopholes and shortcuts. They can rank pretty quickly, but they could also be out of Google's search results or Google's index completely if they followed a practice that is not really following the Google's guidelines. So people who do not follow the Google's guidelines are called black hat practitioners. And the technique is called black hat SEO. Okay, so I hope that's clear. You follow Google's guidelines, you are considered white hat practitioner, and that is white hat SEO. On the other hand, if you did a bad job looking for shortcuts, want to rank higher pretty quickly, you could do that, but it'll be short lived because Google is going to catch you. That's black hat SEO. Somewhere in between, there's also another hat, and that hat color is gray. Gray hat SEO is when you are not too sure whether what you're doing is white or black hat practicing. Unfortunately, what you do, if it falls under the umbrella of black hat, your website is going to be penalized. Now, when I say penalized, what do I mean? There have been many, many websites, including really big names in the world, Washington Post, Mozilla, WordPress, BMW. Such big companies have been actually penalized by Google because they failed to follow the Google's guidelines. At the end of the day, Google sets the guidelines. It's our job to follow, to make it easy on our users as well as Google so that everybody wins. Again, I hope this session was really helpful. These are the three different SEO techniques that people use. White hat, follow the Google guidelines. Black hat, go against Google's guidelines. When you're unsure, you're somewhere in between. It's called gray hat. Thank you very much. In the next section, we are going to talk about the types of SEO, some of the most important ones that you're going to learn in the near future. So thank you very much. Stay tuned.